Continuing coverage of the sawmill fire, the fire closed State Route 83, the main road from I-10 to Senoida. The road is back open tonight, and not in your sides. Craig Smith joins us live from that area. Craig? Well, not long ago, this would have been no place to be. Fire blazing on the west side of the road. On the east side, you can see the stains left behind by the fire retardant that the pilots use that is stained to give them an idea of where they have already hit. Now, those pilots today were grounded from late morning on because the winds were simply too strong, but we did get a look at the tanker base and at the future of firefighting tankers. Helicopters were able to keep flying a little bit longer than the planes because of the way they drop their water. But for safety and because high winds scatter retardant and make it less effective, the planes were grounded by late morning. This jet is the future of firefighting tankers. It's a converted commuter jetliner. Planes like this are taking over more of the firefighting duties as older converted warplanes from World War II and the Korean War retire. Now back live now on State Road 83, drivers should know that even though the road is over now, is open now, there's still a need to be extra alert. The fire burned the supports for a lot of the guardrails. In some cases, the rails are down on the ground. In other cases, the support posts are simply weakened. So besides that concern, you can expect to see work crews from the Arizona Department of Transportation repairing those guardrails in the coming days. Reporting live along Arizona 83, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.